If you guys were scrolling through YouTube looking at cat videos or any type of YouTube videos that you guys usually look at and landed on this particular video, don't tune up because I have the secret sauce for you guys to teach you guys how to do your own photography exhibition. What's up guys, it's your boy Kerbin Roman, and I'm back again with a brand new video. I have a great video for you guys today. I'm going to be giving you guys a sauce, a secret on how you can do your own photography exhibition. So I've had the pleasure of hosting a few photography exhibitions and I have learned a lot. I have learned what to do and what not to do about photography exhibitions and hopefully guys, I can teach you guys the mistakes that I made and the experiences that I went through so you guys can avoid the mistakes that I made during my photography exhibitions. First, I wanna give you guys the value of this video. I wanna tell you guys why it's important for you as a visual artist, as a photographer, to throw your own photography exhibition. A huge value is you're bringing a lot of attention towards your work. You have a lot of people or a few people coming to see your own work. If you have a photography exhibition, it's usually, if you unless you're partnering up with other people, it's usually centered around you. You have people coming dedicated to come see your work. So that brings a huge value to you as a brand, that brings a huge value to you as a photographer, and that sets you aside in the market that you are competing in. Another value of a photography exhibition is that it brings seriousness to your work. It shows that your work is serious and that you're passionate about what you do and that you're actually going out of your way to print photos, to come up with the ideas for it and showing it to the world and hosting a whole entire event surrounding your photography. So it not only attracts people to come see you as the photographer, but it also brings some seriousness to your brand. It makes you look like a more serious photographer, which you probably are if you're watching this video. Another value is that this is a project that you can work on with multiple people. I love personally working as a big team. I love working with people. I love coordinating. I love giving ideas. I love receiving ideas. So for me, working around people all the time is amazing. I love that so very much. I love people, man. Like if you guys know me personally, which you're gonna get to know me in, on my YouTube channel if you subscribe, I love people. That's another value that you guys are getting out of your photography exhibition. You are working alongside other people to bring your vision to life. I love that so much. And another value, guys, it's gonna be a little secret value. You can also make some money on the side with your photography, right? Keep that a secret between you and I for watching this video. You can make a little bit of money on the side. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, right? So I'm gonna show you guys an art exhibition that I actually recently hosted. This was an art exhibition that happened uh, in the month of February for the celebration of Black History Month. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about it, but first I want you guys to see the highlight of this art exhibition and give me your thoughts and your opinion in the comments below. I really wanna hear what you guys thought about the highlight video. Let me know, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit, peace. I got questions, a whole lot of questions. I got more than me constantly stressing about this pigment on her skin disguised as a blessing. Like, why is it that a queen's a melanin with a complexion so heaven sent, but when the topic of beauty become irrelevant? Why is it that our kings of the motherland only built to fall again in a prison system where the light of day never hit them? Matter of fact, I searched for the definition of the word nigga and gladly found that Tupac had it figured. It stands for never ignorant getting goals accomplished. So don't tell me black excellence will ever be demolished. Young, black, gifted, many words up in description. I don't even need to list it, but hold them now that you listen. No need to fear since it's all crystal clear. The new leaders are now the ones standing in the mirror. Cause change won't come if it ain't go do none. And since it was blacks against the world and that ain't work, let's play it like chopsticks, put both sides together, hopefully peace will disperse. I have a feeling this will work. But once again, one God, one family. Forget the color of your face, we was all born into the human race. And once we accept that as facts, racism will be a thing of the past. After watching that video, let me know what you guys thought about the highlight. 
um, we basically had different types of uh, um, musicians, different types of artists, but perform at that exhibition. It was not only uh, centered around visual arts, but you guys can see how you can develop your exhibitions from just visual arts and adding different components, different art forms to just make your overall ambiance a little bit more welcoming and a little bit more of a vibe you know so you guys can definitely add different elements but first we're going to start with the fundamentals of what you need to do or what you need to have in order to set up a photography exhibition or a visual art exhibition if you are a visual artist just watching this video just browsing through but let's get going Boom. So the first thing that you guys need is a concept. You cannot begin to create anything without the idea. A concept can be about cats. If you guys do cat photography, you guys can, you know, maybe craft the concept around cat photography. Or if you guys do portrait photography, you can do a lot of different things around portrait photography. I think the spectrum is kind of broad. You, you know, when it comes to photographing people, I personally think the spectrum is broad. So you guys can look into that yourself. If you do landscape photography, you can see if you guys can if you can see if you guys can conceptualize something around landscape photography so the first thing that i have to mention to you guys is you have to start with a concept so my first photography exhibition the name of it was the people you know and if you guys want some more details about what the concept was i'm actually going to make another video about it explaining in depth about the concept of the people you know and how to come up with concepts uh and how you know like that whole conceptualization comes about but you guys definitely need a concept and a concept is in general and in, in bigger terms, a concept is an idea. So what is it that you want people to get out of your photography exhibition? Um, what is it that they're coming to see? What kind of photos are they coming to see? So all that fits into your concept and then you just make it a thing. You just make it that one thing. So once you guys have the big idea, once you guys have the concept down, you guys definitely need photos you need pieces to show people you need to go out there and shoot the idea that you have in your mind you can't just have the idea and then people come to your photography exhibition and literally see nothing on the wall right you have to literally go out there and shoot your idea so once you have the concept guys you have your idea you have what it is that you want to shoot you've conceptualized it you've thought about it and like i said guys if you guys want a video about how to come up with concepts and how to come up with ideas i can definitely make another video explaining to you guys an in-depth like maybe like an in-depth course or whatever you guys want to call it about how to come up with ideas but you guys definitely have to come up with the idea first once you come up with the idea is you go out there and then you capture that idea. Once you have your, that idea, guys, you have your prints printed, you have them framed. Very important to get them framed because it just has that special look. But I understand the budgets might be a little tight, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys can frame them, that'd be perfect. It just adds a different look to your photos for sure. Concept production which is actually going out there to shoot your concept next step is guys a location a location is one of the most difficult things that i struggled with when i was coming up with um when i was uh, planning my photography exhibition guys i reached out to the local museums and there's a whole process that you have to go through um, in order to have your art uh, exhibited at a local museum you have to submit it a few months ahead of time you have to uh, wait for them to approve it this is a whole bunch of process and if you go to local uh, uh, privately owned galleries as well too there's a whole process and like you know you have to pay a bunch of money a bunch of all of that one thing that i can recommend you guys is finding just a venue like literally it doesn't have to be a photography related venue but if you do find a venue that allows you to like maybe like a publicly owned uh gallery that does like you know like rotations or whatever if you guys do find something like that perfect because i found something like that um, in my local uh, city so finding a location is an essential thing and and if you guys want to find locations in your nearby area go on google look for local venues and and the criteria that you guys should be looking for is good lighting um neutral walls minimalist walls that you can put your stuff up and um if they have sound equipment sound sound stuff perfect if they already have it there but if they don't you guys can rent you know extra stuff on the side but location guys is very important it is key creating your own photography exhibition you got to get the date booked so you get your location make sure you talk to them book it before you announce it that's very important i made that mistake before and uh it was kind of like a mix up with the venue as well too but trust me guys you guys want to 
book the date before you announce anything on social media. After you have all of that, another thing that you guys really, really need is a team of people that are going to be dedicated to help you out on the day of, or even like the day before, that are going to be there hands-on, um, helping you hang the wall, uh, the, you hang the art on the wall. So you guys definitely need a dedicated team. Maybe a, you know, grab your mom or your friends or your wife or your kids, whoever you guys wanna bring along. Um, to help you guys out it is very I'm telling you it is very beneficial to have a good support team around you a good team That's going to help you um, put up the stuff on the wall and just make everything come to life I'm telling you countless times. I would not be able to do um, The photography exhibitions that I have done in the past without the wonderful team that I have had the pleasure to work with So trust me guys you're gonna need a team. It could be a group of friends um, You know that want to volunteer and, 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 and trade for like maybe some free tickets some food um, you know, like, uh, like, you know, cool friends that, you know, are going to want to help you guys out. So look for those people and then you're going to have a successful exhibition. What you guys need is like some snacks and some food. After you have all the things that I've, I've told you guys already, you guys need some snacks and some food, some finger foods that, you know, people that come to your exhibition can snack on and just, you know, to keep them entertained because definitely need a DJ. It is important to have a DJ. You guys definitely need a DJ because a DJ sets the tone, sets the mood, the music sets the mood, and the DJ will definitely help you guys um, come up with that mood that you guys are wanting for your photography exhibition. That is about it guys. I went through the fundamentals of how you can set up your own photography exhibition. So all you need guys, like I said, you need the concept, which is the big idea. And if you guys don't know how to come up with the concept, which is the idea that you're gonna be conveying at your photography exhibition, hit like, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to create a video to help you guys come up with concepts. And the second thing that you guys need is a uh, the pieces, the, the exhibit pieces, the things that you're going to be exhibiting at your photography exhibition. So after you get your concepts, you go out and you shoot the, the photographs, you print them, those become the actual pieces that you're going to be exhibiting. You very much need those. And then the third thing that you guys definitely need is a location. Uh, or just find a random venue that has the criteria of um, um, white walls or you know like minimalistic walls so like plain color and has good lighting as well as can take um, uh, 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 audio and, and audio systems so like sound systems and stuff like that that's perfect those are the key criteria that you have to look at once you're selecting a venue so once you selected the venue guys then you guys just have to come up with a team Find a team of people that are going to be dedicated to helping you on the day of and then helping you put the stuff up and take down the stuff. And then once you got the team, guys, I'm telling you, it makes things much easier. Once you got the team, guys, then you just got to get some snacks. You got to get some food, making sure that everything is running smoothly during your photography exhibition. If you guys didn't understand anything from this video, do not hesitate to send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. The Reel is out. Peace.